Okay, so the common question is which textbook is better, the Oxford book or the Pearson one for IB chemistry? So the quick answer is the Pearson one's better. Now, these are the reasons why. First of all, the Oxford one here, this is the first one that came out. This is the one that our school uses. Apparently from word of mouth it had the, the license first, that's why it got out first, that's why our school uses it. The problem is it goes over a lot of the, the content in way too much detail. Uh, there are examples, a really good example is page 320. It has the, a lot of information. You can't really tell that it's going above the syllabus because it's just a normal whitish looking text and it's way too difficult. Uh, it's got the delta T's and the T two G's and delta E's, E G's, and it's not in the syllabus. And there's lots of other examples here throughout the whole text. I've been teaching these, using these both these textbooks for two years now with the new syllabus. Uh, it has a lot of equations and deriving and extra stuff that's a bit too hard. Okay, the Pearson book, on the other hand, it's much simpler. It really sticks more just to what the syllabus is and doesn't do that extension. IB is way, way hard enough as on its own. It doesn't need an extension. And the extension really is going into third or fourth year chemistry. It's really way beyond first year chemistry. So the Pearson is definitely better for that, although I've given them both nine because the Oxford is considered the authority. Okay, practice questions. If you look through the book, both of them have these little practice questions here and test questions at the end. Uh, the problem is Oxford doesn't have answers to either of them, which for me is a complete no-go. I won't even take it because I'm a busy teacher. I don't have time. I can do any problem individually with students in class, but I don't have time to give them write out all the answers. And not only that, Pearson is absolutely amazing. It has a history of even going through in detail multiple choice answers and explaining all of them, and they've got all the answers there in quite a lot of detail. The next thing that I think counts for teachers and students is you can't carry these things around. They're massive and they're heavy. All right, uh, this has, I'm not sure, I don't think, I, I don't think there's an electronic copy for the students. I do have access to one because I'm a teacher. Um, this here, um, I bought both of these myself, so I know. Um, I got the electronic copy through the school though. This one, I just got absolutely everything, PDFs and online. So it's really quick. This is slow, and difficult to access. Uh, this is quick, obviously it's got PDFs, it's got all the whole textbook, all the resources, labs, answers to everything. So that's a clear winner for Pearson again. It's quite extreme. Uh, the last thing, which is I, I think is fairly minor, but I put it on the criteria anyways. Holistically, um, I'm usually teaching standard and then I let them go and I continue on teaching the hires. So I want to keep everything nice and neat together. And uh, what Oxford's done is they've split it up. So they've got the standard at the front and you go back to topic one again and start all over again and have the stand and have the high lever at the back. So they're basically the reasons why I think Pearson is a clear winner. As a teacher, there's no question I would get both. Um, and as a student, uh, the best way to do really well is read your textbook and having two different views is the best way to go about it. So I think that is a slight advantage on watching videos to be honest because uh, it's sitting there and it, it's readable and you can go through it a little bit slower. So I, the same with the videos, I think they complement your understanding. Uh, I definitely talk about stuff that's not in these textbooks and I give understandings that are not in the textbook when I try and explain things. Uh, so I highly recommend you read at least two different sources. I would either go with two different textbooks or maybe a textbook and a video that has extra information that's going to help you out, not just give you details. Alright, uh, so there you go. hope that was helpful.